Hi, I'm Chef Ange. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. On today's episode, I want to show you a really easy and fast recipe. This is my salmon in the air fryer. Crispy on the outside, moist and tender on the inside, and oh so flavorful. So good you'll think twice before ordering salmon in a restaurant because it's that good, that easy, and that fast. But before I show you this recipe, check the description box below for the full ingredient list and directions. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you can find out when I drop new recipe and tip videos. Let's get cooking. I like to start off with a big piece of salmon because I like to cut my own fillets and before I cut them I'm just going to run my finger over and check for any pin bones. Every once in a while there's one in there and you just pull it out with a pair of pliers. So this is about two pounds of salmon that I'm going to cut into four eight ounce fillets. You know each one of those pieces is going to be one piece for dinner so eight ounces is a pretty good portion. And now I'm just going to season with some olive oil and some of my base seasoning. My base seasoning is a blend of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. If you've been to my channel, you already know that. And there's a link to the video recipe in the description. Now we're going to throw some smoked paprika for some color and some smoky flavor. And we're also going to use some Italian seasoning. My current favorite is this pizza seasoning from Spiceology. Shout out to the people of Spiceology. Anybody watching, send me more of that pizza seasoning because I'm almost out. So now we're going to use our hands to coat the salmon with the oil and the spice mixture. And we want to get a nice coat of spices on the outside because when we throw this in the air fryer it's going to get nice and crispy and give us a nice crispy coating on the outside so while that's sitting and all the flavors are coming together we're going to cut up some lemons we're going to slice these pretty thin and i'm trying to get them all about the same thickness and if there's any pits or seeds in there we're just going to use the tip of our knife to just pull those out gently the last ingredient we're going to have to prep before we throw the salmon in the air fryer is going to be some parsley that we're going to put on there for some garnish and some freshness and so i'm pulling all the leaves off the parsley and i don't like to use parsley stems take the extra time to pull the leaves off and then use your rocker chopper right through there till we get a nice fine consistency of those garnishes so now we're going to take those lemon slices and pick up that spice and oil mixture that's left over in our pan. Uh, no flavors left behind here at Chef Ange Kitchen. So we're going to take those spice and oil coated lemon slices and we're going to put them right on top of the fish. And then this is ready to hit the air fryer. The air fryer doesn't take long to preheat. So I preheated it up to 400 and this is going to go in there for about 12 to 15 minutes, depending upon how the doneness you like your salmon. And now look at the nice spice crust that we've got on the outside of here. And that's the perfect time you want to take it out is when you get a little bit of char on the lemon and a little spice crust on the outside of the fish. So I'm going to let these chill out just for a little bit and cool down before I transfer them over to the serving platter. And I'm being careful because cooked fish is really delicate. So take your time and use a fish spatula to pick up each piece and transfer it over very nicely and now let's garnish with some of that chopped parsley for that pop of color and then we're going to go in with some lemon zest over the top of each one of these and that's just going to add a really nice lemony flavor and as you're zesting the lemon make sure to always use a nice fresh spot for each time so now in less than 15 minutes we got this salmon prepped cooked and done and ready to hit the dinner table and how delicious does this look all right, let's see how we did. Let's get one of these on a plate. You know, I really like using the air fryer because it just cooks so darn fast and you can get like a nice crispy crust texture on the outside of that. Look how nice the, the crust is on the outside from the spices and the oil. You know, I'm not really big on leaving stuff on food that you don't eat, but we're not going to eat this. This is just for presentation purposes. It also leaves a really nice uh, flavor on the outside of the fish. But here, let's cut right into the big part. and Let's see how nice, beautiful, and flaky that is. You can see the fish is not overcooked. It's not dry. Let's eat this piece right here. You can see this piece. So this piece got some... Nice spice crust on the outside that's gonna get some good flavor and some good texture. Mmm. That is some tasty fish. It's moist, it's delicious, it's got loaded with flavor. And this took like 15, 20 minutes to make. Mmm. You can see that fish glistening on the inside nice and moist and cooked. If 
your fish is dry, it's just because you overcooked it. So cook it less or cook it at a lower temperature. And stop cooking your fish until it's dead and hammering it. Mm. Can't stop trying this. Mm. Well, I'm Chef Ange. This is my air fryer salmon. Let me know in the comments section how yours comes out or if there's any other recipe videos that you would like to see. Uh, if you haven't already, click like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.